Hi everyone, um, I'm running for the city council, as you know, and I, every day I met a lot of people and they always ask, I mean there's one person uh, brought up the issue saying that retaining talent is um, it's almost impossible in San Diego. So you're the PhD in science as well and you are in the computer and marketing PR, for, uh, yes. PR side. I was wondering, can you share a little bit with me, is uh, retaining talent an issue or is it not an issue? Because I wanted to know and see what I can do for the, um, for the for my people and because I want to definitely retain talent. But if that is an issue, then if I neglect it, I would like to see what I can do with our mayor and our city council members to work out plans to how to retain talents in San Diego. So, okay? Sure. Um, I think there's definitely an issue for retaining talent in San Diego, but you have to look at very specific details from a different perspective. So, um, at like mid level or senior level, uh -huh. I think it's a common issue for, across the industry for our companies. Or, or in universities. But for people who are just entering the workforce, mm -hmm. like for companies in order to attract talents, there's a little bit of a gap in terms of in, in our industry. Like for me, I, I, got, I got my PhD in Canada. And then I moved to San Diego for my postdoctoral training on the H1B visa. So if I want to um, get a permanent job, the, then I need to obtain a green card to, oh, wow. yeah, to, in order for that work process. Doesn't matter if it's in the university mm -hmm. or if it's <laughs> in the industry. Yes. Um, and my H1B is not very flexible, so I can't switch jobs. I have to stay with one. Oh yes, yes, that's yeah, right. So that's because the every problem. time when you uh, change a job, you have to reapply. Yes, and that oh, process, and oh, that process is gonna take ranging from three months to maybe one year. And you, there's a lottery system that you have to be picked. If you're working on a really uh, research, really important research project, because of the visa, you know, if you you want to switch, yeah, to if you want to switch it to industry, this is impossible, oh unless gosh. the industry is sponsoring another visa. That's you have to reapply it again. So that's a and you bit have to of hassle. Because my lawyer told me that um, April first, you start applying, and yes. then October got the result yeah, because but you don't even know if you're going to get it or that's not. That's right. Exactly. That's right. And in the meantime, if you lose your status, you can't even stay in the country. Oh my so gosh. what are you going to do in terms of this? And then... And the project you're working on. And the project we're, we're working on. So at University of California, San Diego, we have about, I think, around 6,000 postdocs. Wow. More than 50% are international scholars. Yeah. And they all have the same issue. I want the most stay here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's a really big problem. Like you're talking about retaining talent when when the talents can't even get the opportunity to enter the workforce sometimes. But um, even even for um, academic jobs, like we some of the post most actually most of the postdocs maybe still want to stay in academia. Like they want to be a professor and yeah, yeah, yeah. the same path as what our mentor did. But it's not always easy because there are not just not many professor positions opening. Yes. So how many are there going to be at San Diego? So they have to search for jobs across you know, across the U.S. Yeah. Even in, maybe for me, I can search for Canada or around the globe in China or in Europe. So but your heart and, is here. Uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> because that's, you you graduated from here. That's, you're here. Everybody's over here, and then you're working on the project that you're passionate about. Yes. So, so the okay. reason why I chose San Diego is because I loved it. Okay, I, okay. I attended many conferences um, in San Diego before I even moved here, like during 2011, 2013, 2014, like a couple of times. Oh my gosh. So mm -hmm. I, I just fell in love with San Diego and then when I was looking for a postdoc, then I just wanted to be here. And I was lucky to know a uh, PI from UCSD wow. and we had sort of built a connection. So when I graduated with my PhD, I just applied to her and she her Wonderful. Postdoc. See, so. that's all about networking. It's who, it's who you know and how do you present mm -hmm. yourself, and that goes to you, uh, Jerry. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Could agree more? Yeah, yeah, definitely. because yeah. Um, that's what you're uh, you're working as a PR, uh, working for a PR firm in China, Beijing. Yeah, that's right. Before you came here for your computer science master, yeah, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> quite a journey for me. Yes. Yeah, so it's a switch, and then 
now that you graduated from your master program, mm -hmm. what do you think, you know, if you want to, you know, is uh, retaining talent an issue or not an issue in San Diego? Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's still an issue for international students to stay here. Uh, I think the priority one, the, the first one should be the status because uh, we have to apply for the working visa mm -hmm. and uh, nowadays it's a little bit hard to get the visa than before because the uh, employers kind of are kind of reluctant to offer the visas because they have to pay uh, extra monies, they have to take the risk uh, if the if the students or the, who they hire uh, leave the country without the reason. Yeah. Uh, at the, I, I, uh, I'll say, uh, at the same, uh, on the other hand, I think one thing the new grads uh, needs is uh, in, uh, experience. Usually we just uh, study for over 10 years in, at school, but every employer wants some experienced people. Yeah. And that's what we need <laughs> most, I guess. And we should, uh, I think there's a lot of uh, campus program for internships, for internships right? yeah. yeah, that's right, definitely. But, mm, it, you know, the intern job is uh, different from the full-time job. So they just, they just want someone, hire someone who can jump into the industry right away, bring the revenue, just to uh, have some progress. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes they don't want to train us uh, too much or spend much money on it. That's the reality. Well, but I, I, I think talent is very important because I met a lot of international students mm -hmm. and you are very exceptional because um, it, a lot of them, they still are very conservative and very uh, in their own group. Yes. So that's, that's, right. that's something that, um, you know, I think the employer will probably look at the, the dynamic of your network as well because if you're a person that is really, really outgoing or open-minded, and then you can contribute to the company, I don't think it would be an issue because uh, every company needs talent. It just has to be funded. Yeah, I agree with you because, you know, uh, for international students in the U.S., it's not very hard for our for our, for us Chinese students to get the uh, offer from U.S. US universities. They have to study very hard. They have to spend a lot of money on this. And but I they think don't have the soft skill. That's uh, right. I agree. That's so. <laughs> right. That's what, what what we need to learn. Next step is to, just to get along with each uh, with each other or with strangers. Just to yeah, join sure. more more associations as 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 we can and uh, contribute back. And, yes, definitely. You know, merge yourself into mm -hmm. the mainstream and yes. show the country. You know, I'm here to contribute. Yeah, that's right. That, that's that's exactly what I did. That's, that's the reason why I met you. I joined the Chinese Science <laughs> the Association. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, that's Thank right. You. Uh -huh. now, so. I'm, I'm very grateful I did that. And okay. yeah, I met a lot of talent and maybe my peers or my uh, some seniors can help me. Wow. Um, I think there's a lot of people like me because, um, the, you know, we love to help. And we, you know, a lot of my mentor because they helped me. When I came here, I didn't speak a word of English, and they helped me along the way. So I, I am very, very grateful, and I wish to do more for my people. So, and and you two are very open-minded. So I love it, love it, love it. Anyway, thank you so much for the uh, for your feedback about the retaining talent in San Diego. Is that an issue or is not? So the answer, obvious, is yes. And I will see what I can do. So, right. Thank you. 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 Thank you